Hello beer tubers and welcome to a very special review of the Master of Puppet Spear Review. Today joined by Jakob the Lord of Monks. We're going to review a beer today I didn't expect myself to be reviewing, so I'm really happy to get it. Thanks a lot to Neil for sending this brew out, Thank along you. with a few others actually. Uh, I posted a while ago on Facebook if anyone were able to get this beer still, which is the Stone Ruination, 10th Anniversary Ruination IPA. Ruination is such an amazing double IPA, I love it. And this is even better. Now, yeah, one of my subscribers then contacted because I, I was like, hey, can anyone get this beer? Because I was looking to do a trade or pay for shipping or something like to get it here. And then this Neil hit me up and was like, oh, I can send it to you. So that was like, no problem. He's like, oh, I'll send it to you, no problem. And he even included more beer, so that was awesome. Thanks a lot, man. But the 10th Ruination IPA is basically a special version of Ruination that is on 10.8% alcohol instead of 7.5, I believe the regular one is. Yeah. And um, double dry hopped with uh, Citra and Centennial, which is pretty darn awesome. And just look at that freaking label, that's so awesome. Now, I got to try this in San Diego. I've tried the regular Ruination and then double dry hopped with, I think it was Amarillo? I'm not sure, but, um, <clears throat> and it's a great beer, especially if you get it really fresh from the brewery. But, um... Uh, this was released back in June, uh, actually before that. I actually tried it before they released it at a bottle chair, and it was amazing. But this is a month old now, like a month old now, but so, since it's such a big hobby beard, it should still hold up, and I'm rambling, so I just want to crack this open and get it tried. Yeah, no way back. Nope. So we got the 10th anniversary Ruination Ford, and it's a nice dark orange kind of color. With a reddish cover issue. Yeah, one finger on mine. Uh, off whitish head. Let's take out the aroma. Okay, you can definitely smell it's a month old, but wow, you get a lot of citra. Yeah. A lot of sweet orange, pineapple, mango kind of aromas. Yeah, but you can definitely t uh, smell the centennial as well. It's, it's like kind of like a ramped up cascade. Yeah. Centennial. I think a lot of brewers call it a super cascade, actually. Mm. Because it's got like those kind of grapefruit notes you get from Cascade yeah. for sure. But it's a lot of that, a lot of the citra with the mango, tangerine. What do you pick up? Yeah, it's the same. And some sweet caramel kind of multi backbone. But it's impressive that the caramel multi aroma is still kind of faint. Yeah, it is very faint. Uh, but this is as fresh as we would get it in Denmark. We would probably get it even older if it ever got its uh, way out to Denmark. I don't think probably we would ever months. get no, it No, we wouldn't, but if we did. It would be a year old. <laughs> <laughs> but super nice and tropical. Really refreshing. Actually, my teeth are running in water right now. <laughs> well, let's give it a taste then. 10th anniversary of Ruination. Thanks, Cheers. Neil. Thank you. No, oh, that is so amazing still. Oh my god, that's huge though. Oh. <laughs> that's been a while since you've had a beer like this, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, this is great. All right, <clears throat> mouthfeel, medium. It's uh, kind of oily. Yes, yeah, silky, kind of porter silk. Yeah. Wow, it's bitter as well. It's fairly the dryness really lingers, like an intense bitter grapefruit flavor yeah. on the back end. But then still, it has that sweetness that kind of sticks to the side yeah. of the mouth. Like a sugary kind yeah. of sweetness almost. Wow, this is amazing. And it's so balanced. It's amazing actually yeah the balance of it is pretty freaking intense uh, <clears throat> intense to, it wasn't as balanced as, as when I had it fresh but still it's it's nice that it's so balanced the hot flavors I pick up in there can shit ton of like I get a lot like especially in the back end you get a lot of bitter grapefruit and that bitterness just lingers um, and the burp makes it even more bitter almost like hop extract but oh, flavor damn like, it's tasty <laughs> yeah flavor a lot of that sweet Orange, tangerine, pineapple, mango, all that sweet tropical yeah. fruit flavors, which is probably from the citra, I'd imagine. Uh, pineapple, did you, you mention that? Hunting melon, what's it called? Cantaloupe? Cantaloupe, yeah. And I get a little bit of peach kind of flavor to it as well. This is fucking good. Yeah. The only thing is that this is not super fresh. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say about this beer that is bad. And Stone you makes such great beer, man. They're, Oh, I love Stone Brewing Company. Like, I had so much great beer in San Diego, and like, playing the Elder on Tap, and um, some of the hoppy beers from Ballast Point, Ale Smith. I can't even remember all the beer I had on top of my head, some Firestone Walker and stuff. But still at that ball share where me and Ryan tasted it, it was just like a mind blower. Still a mind blower, but not as big as when I had it the first time, but 
it seemed pretty big for him. Maybe it's because you anticipated so much. Before yeah, because it was so fresh. But still, for me, rating-wise, this is getting a 95. This is a freaking excellent double IPA. If you're still able to get it, get it right now and drink it right now and don't let it age for any longer. Yeah, I'm going 96, 97, 97. Great, great beer. I'm really amazed by this one. Um, but, yeah. There's like nothing wrong with it. I could go nothing higher wrong. as well, but I think the reason why I gave it 95 and not 97 like you is because I had it fresher. <laughs> but amazing beer. Definitely let us know what you think of the Stone 10th anniversary, anniversary ruination if you've had it. Yeah. And share it with someone, by the way. Yeah. Even though it's so drinkable, actually you could drink it alone. Yeah, but it, you'll get really drunk because it's a bomber. <laughs> and you need to enjoy it with some friends to really appreciate it, I think. Yeah, as well. So, <laughs> it's always fun, more fun drinking beer with good friends and stuff. Remember to comment, subscribe. Thanks to Neil for the beer. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers, Neil. We're going to see you guys in another beer review.